Okay, so we're going to move over here. Uh, we got uh, a run of three switches. Uh, the first one is a, a, a left-right uh, for the monitor, which would uh, um, tie in with our external uh, monitor, our speakers. Uh, so that switch would be down for us to be able to, to listen to the playback with the external speakers and this knob here uh, regulates your level. Uh, right below that's the effect, effect one switch. Uh, so if you're running out of, of uh, effect one, sending something out, you know, that, that would have to be uh, pushed down. And the same for the effect two and uh, the tape cue. Um, right up here, another uh, little selector switch here. It's uh, for the Dolby. So if you want uh, the Dolby noise reduction, you can have it on or off. I just generally leave it on. Uh, below that, um, which is actually fairly important, is your, uh, you got your tape counter here and you have a zero return. So uh, basically with uh, <clears throat> that not engaged and you uh, play the tape, uh, your little counter of course is increasing. Um, when you stop and you know, say you rewind it, it's gonna go back to the beginning of the tape or the zero. So as you're recording and you're going through the tape, you always wanna have that on. And uh, what I generally do is just run off about five seconds of uh, lead at the beginning of the tape. Let that run, you know, stop that. Your zero returns on. Zero out your uh, your uh, your indicator there, and from now on, as you're recording or playing, hit rewind, and it's going to stop at the beginning of whatever this uh, the, that point is on this tape right here. So you don't have to search; it'll always go right back to uh, to the beginning of the uh, the tracks.